convicted rappers who were caught because of song lyrics. This video features both rappers who are murderers and murderers who became rappers. Enjoy. Bobby Shmurda was convicted and is serving over 20 years in prison because in his song Hot Nigga, he talks about how members of his gang killed people. He isn't being arrested for any specific murder, but for being the ringleader of a gang of murderers. Is it fair to arrest him, or should his music be protected by his First Amendment freedom of speech rights? Hear his lyrics and decide for yourself. To their shared 2005 song, So Icy, when Jeezy decided to put a $10,000 bounty on Gucci's head. While Gucci was hanging out with a stripper at her house, they stormed the residence. Gucci got up and took them all on. When the smoke cleared, Gucci was still alive. Four men were seen fleeing the house, and Pookie Lock was dead. Gucci reminded Jeezy of that night by putting out a diss record in 2012 called Truth, where he said, quote, Go dig up your partner, nigga. Bet he can't say shit. Gucci ended up winning later in court because he committed the murder in self-defense. Lil Boosie, born Torrance Hatch, is accused of hiring Michael Louding, a.k.a. Marlo Mike, to kill Terry Boyd in 2009. His song 187 is being used for evidence. Lil Boosie recorded the controversial track with BG, another Louisiana ra rapper who has had his fair share of legal trouble. Any nigga who tries to play me, they dead now. Boosie raps in his first verse. The prosecution specifically noted the use of 187, Merc, and Cake as slang terms commonly used to describe murder and money. He is serving parole until 2018. Eminem, Big L, and others rapped about drugs, rape, and murder, but there was always a twisted humor to what they said. When you hear X-Rated's early 90s raps about rape, drug, and murder, the inner kid in you wants to run, especially when you realize that he was not kidding. His debut album, recorded over the phone in prison, was found to contain mere images of the crime he was accused of committing. The album cover picture had the same handgun it was said that murdered Patricia Harris pressed against his head. X-Rated was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Virginia rapper Ann Twain, Twain Gotti Stewart has been charged with double murder after he was allegedly caught bragging about the crime in one of his songs. Police accused him of gunning down Christopher Horton and Brian D. Newport front porch in two. Cops thought the horrific slaying was gang related, but without any concrete leads, the case soon went cold. Until Stewart posted Ride Out on his MySpace page in 2009, including the following lyrics that led to his arrest I fucking choked him, but nobody saw when I fucking smoked him. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to SB for more entertaining videos.